Okay, so Minecraft 1.18 has just released, and you want to make a server. Well, this is the perfect video for that. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can host it on your own computer, and also how you can use a server hosting website to host your 1.18 Minecraft server. Anyway, let's get right in. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can do it on your own PC. But first of all, you do want to download the server jar. This can be done pretty simply by going to the Minecraft launcher, going to installations, finding the latest release, which will be 1.18, clicking the three dots, edit, and clicking download server. Once you click it, it will open a Chrome tab or whatever browser you use, and it will start downloading the server.jar. And as you can see, it's fully installed, and we're going to go ahead and click keep. So now that is done, we're going to drag this over here, and we're going to minimize out of this. Then we want to make a new folder, so we're going to right click, click new, and folder. We're just going to name this server, but you can name it what you want. Now that the folder's been created, we can go ahead and drag our server.jar from our downloads right into the folder. Then you want to go into the folder, go to view, and make sure that you have file name extensions checked. Now you can go out of that, and you should see your server.jar is in here. You then want to right click, click new, and make a new text document. You then want to call this start. And you can go ahead and open it. And it should open up in a notepad just like this. You then want to type Java space dash X M X and then the amount of RAM you want to use. So for example, if I want to use four gigabytes of RAM for my server, I'm gonna go ahead and put 4096. You then want to put M for megabytes. Then you want to put a space, another dash, X M S, and then I recommend putting the same amount that you just put. So 4096. And then you make sure to put M at the end. And then you want another space and then another dash. And then you want to put jar. And then after this, you want to put whatever you named your jar file to. So as you can see, mine is called server.jar. So I'm just going to put server.jar. And then you want to make a space and put no GUI. Then on a new line, you would just want to put pause, just like this. Then you can go ahead and click file and save. Then you can close out of this notepad. And then you want to go to the start.txt, right click it, and click rename. It will rename this bit, but you can just click on the T at the end and it will let you rename the extension. So you want to put bat after the dot, so it will now be start.bat, not start.txt. We can press enter, it will ask us if we want to change this. We can click yes. So now we have a Windows batch file. We now want to run this. As you can see, our Java is not the version we need. So we will need to download the latest version of Java, this being Java 17. You can download it from this page here, which I'll leave in the description. You then want to download the x64 installer, so go ahead and click the link. It will then start downloading. Once that's downloaded, we want to run it. If it asks you do you want to make changes, just click yes. It will then run you through this, which you can just click next and next. As you can see, it's now fully installed, so we can click close. And then to check the Java has installed properly, we can go to Windows, search CMD, and press enter. Then you want to put Java, and then a space, dash, version. As you can see, it now says Java version 17, which means we have successfully installed Java 17. You then want to exit out of this. Then we can go back to here and run the bat file once again. And as you can see, it's created loads more files in here. We can then close out of this and go into eula.txt. So now that we're in the eula.txt, we want to go to the bottom where it says eula equals false and change this to eula equals true. You can then click file and save. Then you can close out of it. Then once again, we can rerun the bat file. And as you can see, it is now starting my server. If you do get this, you want to go ahead and click allow access. As you can see, it is now preparing the spawn area. And there we go, our server should now be running. So now we can launch Minecraft 1.18 by going straight from the launcher. As you can see, the latest release is Minecraft 1.18. We can then click play. Okay, so as you can see, Minecraft has loaded and now we're going to add the server. So we want to go to multiplayer. Add server. You can name whatever you want. I'm just going to call it server. 
And when you ask for the server address, you want to put localhost and then colon 25565. You can then click done. And as you can see, we can go ahead and join the server. And as you can see, we can already see the brand new terrain for 1.18. But do definitely note that people only on your own home network will be able to join you like this. If you want people outside of your house to join you, you will have to do port forwarding. I'll leave a video on port forwarding in the description and also one in the little iCard in the top right corner right now. But yes, as I said, people only on your own home network will be able to join you. If you want people outside of your own home network to join, you will have to port forward. So that is it for hosting your own server. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. And wow, we got quite lucky with a Mesa right by our spawn point. Okay, so that is how to do it on your own PC. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it using a server host. So let's get right into that. So for this, I am gonna be using the server host called Pebble Host. And to create a server, it's really simple. You can just click Minecraft hosting. I will leave a link to this in the description. You can then scroll down and pick the plan that you want. So if you were looking to just play with some friends on 1.18, I'd recommend the budget. Make sure that you are currently viewing it and you can scroll down. Then you can pick your RAM, which we can just pick 5 gigabytes, and you can just click add to cart. Then as you can see, it asks you everything you want, a server location, so I can pick Europe for me as I am in the UK. You can pick everything like this, and you can pick if you want backups, if you want DDoS protection, and if you want auto reboot, you can then click check out. You'll then be required to put in all your information to go ahead and buy the server. So now I have got my server up and running. You can go to server type if you scroll down and click the jar and pre-install menu. Once you're in here, you can select vanilla Minecraft 1.18. Make sure you don't pick the release candidates. Make sure you have picked just vanilla Minecraft 1.18. Then click save in the bottom right. And as you can see, it has selected it right here. We can then restart our server. Okay, so as you can see, our server is now online. To join it, we can go to the IP and click Copy IP. We then want to launch Minecraft 1.18. So make sure 1.18 is selected, and then you can click Play. All right, so Minecraft has now loaded. We can go to Multiplayer, click Add Server. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it as Minecraft Server and then press Control v to paste in the server address. You can then click Done, and as you can see, the Minecraft server is able to be joined. And there we go, we can already see the brand new terrain changes that were made in 1.18. So it really is that simple to install 1.18 on a server. Whether you hosted it off your own PC, or used this server host, I hope this video did help you. If it did, definitely leave a like, and also subscribe, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.